Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on drawing a line from its equation when the gradient is negative. And if the equation is in the form y equals something x plus something, this number in front of the x is known as a gradient and that tells you how steep the line is. More specifically, it tells you that each time you go across one is square. So each time x increases by one, then it's saying the y value will decrease by two. So the line is going to be going down like this. For each square you go across, you're going to go down by two. So it has a negative gradient. Now we want to draw this line with equation y equals minus 2x plus 3. And helpfully, it's told us the two values of x we want to draw the line between. Now all we need to do is just use these values of x and substitute them into the equation to work out what the y would have to be. So this equation here is sort of like a membership rule. It basically says, well, if a point wants to be on this line, you have to obey this equation. So let's try it for x equals minus 1 first. When x is minus 1, we have to substitute it into the equation to work out what y would have to be to make this equation true. So y is equal to minus 2 times x, so minus 2 times minus 1 in this particular case, and then plus 3. Well, negative times negative is positive, and 2 times 1 is 2, so it's 2 plus 3, which is 5. So when x is minus 1, y is 5. So when x is minus 1, that's minus 1 on the x-axis, y is 5. So it's going to be here. So we've got one point in the line. What about another point? When x is equal to, well, let's use the other extreme. When x is 3 at the other end of the line, what will y be? Well, if we substitute this value in again, when x is 3, minus 2 times 3, plus 3. Now, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, plus 3. And that's going to be minus 3. So when x is 3, y is minus 3. So 3 minus 3 is down here. And then all we need to do is just join these up with a straight line. So like that, like that, like that, like that. And as I said earlier, we know that each time x increases by 1, y is going down by 2 because the gradient's minus 2. And you can see, look, it's going down by 2 each time.